Hey everyone, Dreamseer444 here. Let's take a look and see what's the tea going on around the collective. What are they saying about you guys at this time? This could be family, this could be friends, this could be exes, this could be your enemies, <laughs> your congratulators. It could be anybody, okay? So let's see what's the tea about the collective at this time. Somebody is definitely curious about you. All right, I feel like you got a lot of people curious about you. They see you bossing up. You are that B right now, okay? You can run your own business. They could see you as stable, that you are, like your hands are in everything, all right? That you are very busy right now. And somebody, you're catching the attention of people. They want to know, like, what are you doing? What you got going on? So the T right now is that you are that B, that you are stable, that you're doing your thing. Now, you could have hurt a lot of people's ego, or you could be hurting a lot of people's ego, at this time especially those who don't have much to offer here okay yeah rejected broke ass and rejected so you're break you're breaking hearts around here because people that don't have anything to offer it may not necessarily be about money you know it may just be that they're not able to give you what it is that you need and deserve okay i feel like the tea around you at this moment is that you're not settling for less and that you're letting go of situations that are empty you know, that are of no value to you. This person don't have a dime in their pocket. And I feel like you are, you, some of you are rejecting people that can't provide for you. So the T is that, you know, you could have hurt someone's ego because of what they didn't have to offer you. Whether it's true or not, this is how someone feels. This is how people may feel. Or this could be somebody that wants to come to you, wants to approach you. They're curious about you, but they feel like they don't have enough to offer and they feel like you are going to reject them. This is what you're making people think. Look, ignoring. They feel like someone, someone feels like you're ignoring them or that you will ignore them. Okay? Someone you may have rejected may feel slighted. Someone's ego, you know, is bruised. And for some of you, you don't care. You're ignoring it. Yeah. You got people that are hooked on your energy that are just, you know, your sexual energy, whether you slept with them or not. Okay, this could be people from your past that are still dwelling on the intimacy here. Okay, girl fight. There could be same-sex people that want to come for you, whether you're a male or a female. Okay. There, there's. This is also giving competition. I'm going to put these two back. But it says getting evidence, proof, facts, and scarcity tactics. So I feel like um, there are people that are trying to compete for you with you um, in business or just compete with you in general. I feel like there are people that are hooked on trying to to keep up with you. And this is ridiculous. You know, this could be someone who wants to argue or they're just at war with you, whether you notice or not. There could be a, a feminine. If you're a male, another male. If you're a feminine, another female that is competing with you and they are definitely hooked on watching your ass what else what's the tea going on here on the collective this is falling right on top of her ego somebody in their head somebody here is in their head stressed out they're overthinking maybe the last conversation you guys had somebody ego could have gotten in the way of the relationship and now they're thinking about it someone could be a smoker somebody could smoke cigarettes because she's smoking. Somebody could be a chain smoker too. Because she's stressed out here. Somebody could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, this person here is fishing for comments. Someone could be a Pisces. Somebody is sitting here. They could be watching you on social media, reading the comments, or they're like fishing for information. This is given. Um, damn. <laughs> Somebody could have been. I don't know. It, it makes me feel like somebody thought that they could, could hook you or trap you. You know, I feel like somebody sees now that you are the big fish here in the in the pond. Because there's a huge fish here with her. And she's got this wand. You know, and I feel like somebody, um, somebody feels like you are the big fish here. You are the, oh, there you go. You're the catch. There we go. I've been trying. I'm like, there's something that I'm trying to say here that you're the catch. Somebody knows that you're the catch and somebody's insecure. I'm telling you, they, they really didn't have or don't have much to offer you. They could be reading the comments, people making comments about you. Look, idol is coming out here. 
always partying. I'm going to shuffle this again because that came out in my last reading. But I do feel like it was meant for me to see it because um, I feel like people admire you. Someone reads the comments about you. They see that people, um, you know, you're getting a lot of attention. And like I said, you're the catch to, to someone. All right. This is making people feel insecure. So that's what the T is here. You got somebody who feels like they don't have enough to offer. And then you have somebody else whose ego is bruised if it's not the same person. What else here? What's the T around here? Yeah, somebody could be trying to take something. Yeah, somebody sees that you're too busy winning and that you're moving in silence. You're not talking a lot about the moves that you're making. Be careful because this fell right flipped over. Thief, robbed, lost, theft, physical, or emotional. I feel like somebody, if they had an opportunity, they would have took from you. This is, or they will. This could be why you're rejecting and ignoring someone. So some somebody could have tried to take something from you. Look, bankrupt, bad habits. Like I said, somebody could be a smoker, smoke a lot of cigarettes, or they're just very toxic. And somebody doesn't really have much. So the T around you is that you're too busy winning, focused on yourself. You got businesses running or something that you're doing here that has people wondering What's your next move? Because you're not really talking. And people feel insecure. They feel like you're going to reject them or you have rejected people. Um, I don't, you know, maybe they just didn't have anything to offer or you felt like somebody was trying to take from you. Now, let me clarify a few of these before I go because I want to know what's the situation around this thief, robbed, lost. Because was somebody trying to take from you or... This could be the energy of people around you. Gossip. Yeah, gossip, petty, jealous, envy. There's There are some jealous, envious, and petty people around you here, okay? These two cards came out. TikTok. So some of you could be on TikTok. Deadline, time running out. Pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. Somebody could feel like they're running out of time when it comes to you, and they could be trying to pop up to you unexpected here. But whoever this thief or... This person is who is trying to steal from you with financially or emotionally. This is someone who's very jealous. They could have the little doppelgangers, their flying monkeys around that could be hyping them up. Or this is somebody who is jealous of you because, like I said, you get a lot of attention or you have a support system. You have people around you that are cool with you. So people are gossiping and having something to say. But my thing is you're moving in silence. Or you're being asked to move in silence because I feel like you're you're um, you're just out here doing your thing with hamster wheel. You're just trying to survive, but you're around some people here who are also trying to survive, but they want to survive by taking from you. Divine masculine is coming out here. This could be someone's divine masculine. Um, that's that. It wouldn't be a divine masculine if they were trying to steal something from you. So I feel like this could be happening to a divine masculine or you have a divine masculine that's coming in. And there could be a lot of gossip about, about that. So the T is that, you know, people are, there's a lot of jealousy here about what's coming in for you that you're not really talking about. I feel like you do have a divine masculine. Now, your divine masculine could be going through something. What's, go, what's going on with the divine masculine? Family, blood ties, inner circle. Something's going on with the Divine Masculine's uh, inner circle, blood ties, family, okay? One more here for this Divine Masculine love affair. Down, download Dirty Little Secrets. So there could be a, a third-party situation, okay? And this is involving a Divine Masculine that who could be finding out about Dirty Little Secret, or there could be a Masculine who's, you know struggling with their sexuality or they were dealing with someone who was struggling with their sexuality here the t the t could be i mean this could be gossip and rumors too you know there could have been in the past like a divine masculine who was who could have been dealing with with someone on the outside but i'm getting because i just saw magnetic pull there it is again that um someone could be trying to the t is that somebody was trying to steal an opportunity from you Maybe family and friends um, knew about something or wanted to, <clears throat> maybe wanted something from your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Yeah, soulmate, similar friendship and romantic partner. And then you have pop up again. Somebody's going to be popping up. The T is that 
for you collective is that um, you have people that are watching your situation, watching what you're doing in your life. And I don't know, some of them may feel like they can influence it in a negative way by gossiping, by talking about you, your divine partnership, maybe even trying to plot and take from you or something. But I feel like with divine intervention, these people are not going to be able to, to accomplish that, okay? Because I feel like what's for you is for you and there's nothing that they can do about it, okay? I feel like you are not telling everybody your business. I feel like you're cutting people off that need to go. They're getting in their feelings about it. Yeah, $500. You got an extra $500 coming in for some of you. Claim it. Like I said, you're too busy winning. Things are coming in for you and people get upset because maybe it does come off as though every, you know, everything I do is blessed. I hear Kendrick Lamar. Everything with you is stress. Everything I do is blessed. Something like that. A lot of you, you already know you're settling or you will realize, you know what, in a situation like you've been settling for less, within the next three months, something's going to change. I feel like, um, I don't know, with you know, you're, something's going to change within the next three months. All right, for you, whether you're rejecting someone, oh no, because it's committed long-term marriage. In the next three months, some of you are going to be in a commitment long-term or you're going to be married. And that's the T. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what I have for you. Um, if it resonates, let me know, and I'll see you guys. There's next. everything to keep me happy, and I do the same for him because he deserves all of my love. Yeah, he loves my kids. Yes, he do, and he loves the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. And it keeps me grounded and lifts up my spirit.